Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing the CSEC May-June CSEC Biology May-June 2019 paper one. This is part two video. So if you missed watching part one, there's a card somewhere on this video or in the description below. You can go ahead and watch it and come back and watch part two. Also, please press this the like button by giving this video a thumbs up by liking it. So let us get into this paper because exams are on the horizon. 31 says, the best description of the role of excretion in living organisms is to A, produce urine, B, produces, produce feces, C, get rid of toxic waste, or D, get rid of excess water. So we know that the answer for 31 is, what do you think? Let me hear what you think. If you say C, get rid of toxic waste, then you are correct. Let's get into 32. Persons who suffer from kidney diseases are most likely to have A, a decreased concentration of glucose in the blood, B, an increased concentration of protein in the blood, C, a decreased concentration of urea in the blood, or D, an increased concentration of urea in the blood. So the answer for 32, we know it would be D. 33 says, which of the following correctly describes movements Movement in plants, A, irreversible, whole or part movement, B, reversible, whole or part movement, C, irreversible growth or part movement, D, reversible growth or part movement. So the answer would be C, irreversible growth or part movement. Let's go to 34. In humans, the skeletal system performs a variety of functions including a, blood cell formation, B, hormone formation, C, immune response, or D, mastication. So the answer is A, blood cell formation. 35 says, locomotion is an evolu evolutionary adaptation performed by animals. What advantages does this mechanism have over the type of movement that occurs in plants? One, the ability to move to favorable conditions. Two, increases chance of predator attacks. Three, the ability to find food. So the answer would be one and three only. So that's B. Let's go to 36. Item 36 refers to the following diagrams illustrating an experiment. This diagram is not new to us. After a few days, the tallest shoot would most likely be so we have four different experiments so we know it would be at tell me what you think in the comment section below let me know your answer 37 says which of the following best describes the term stimulus and response so we know d a detectable change in an organism's environment and the response an organism's reactions to a stimulus. Let's go to 38. Item 38 refers to the following diagram. So here it says the numbered structures are, so we have four number structures there. So we know that it would be, so we have one, we have the sensor neuron, two, we have the relay neuron, neuron, sorry, neuron, and three, we have the motor neuron. So B would be your answer. 
Item 39 refers to the following diagram of a section of human skin. So, we have three labeled parts there. Which structure is not involved in temperature regulation? So, so it would be at two. So, the answer would be B. Let's go on to number 40. So, it says, the smell of a hamburger being cooked causes joan to salivate which of the following is the effector which brings about her response a smell of food b saliva gland c cell in the nose d secretion of saliva so the answer is b salivary gland 41 cells the following statements describe the processes taking place within a seed during germination one embryo uses four to develop radical and plumule. Two enzymes break down proteins into amino acids. Three soluble products move into the embryo. Which of the following correctly identifies the sequence of events during the germination of the seed? So we know it begins at three. Sorry. Enzymes break down protein into acids. Soluble products move into embryo. Embryo uses food to develop radical and plumule. So the answer would be D. Let's move on to number 42. Production of new organisms from one parent only is known as, we know that is known as B, a sexual reproduction. 43. Which of the following forms of birth control is most likely 100% effective? A, condom, B, direct from C, tubal ligation, D, birth control pill. So we know it is C, tubal ligation. Let's go to number 44. Which of the following statements is true? Or oh, let's look at the diagram first. So, so here item 44 refers to the following diagrams of flowers from two different types of plants. So which of the following statements is true for both flowers? A, both are wind pollinated. B, petals are absent from both one and two. C, both are pollinated by a hummingbird. D, one is pollinated by the wind. Two is pollinated by a hummingbird. So the answer is D. 45 says, which of the following is the correct sequence for seed formation after fertilization? All right. So I, I want you to tell me the answer for this one down in the comment section below. So you have gotten two to do so far. So item 46 refers to the following diagrams of specialized cells. Which of the following structures is common to both cells? So, we know it is a nucleus, B. Let's go to number 47. Item 47 refers to the following diagram which shows the life sector, life cycle of a vector. So we have one, two, three, four. So we have the life cycle. At which stage is this vector easily controlled by the use of aerosol insecticides? So which do you think? So we know it is at 4, D. Let's go to number 48. Which of the following diseases matches its category? So, A, cholera, physiological, D, pellagra, hereditary, C, AIDS, infectious, D, atherosclerosis, <laughs> sclerosis, pathogenic. So, we know the answer is C, AIDS, infectious. 49 says, 
Which of the following are used in the management of diabetes? One, diet. Two, exercise. Three, medication. So we know it's all of them. So the answer would be D, one, two, and three. 50, an animal which transmits a disease causing organism but is not adversely affected by it is called a A host, B vector, C parasite, or D pathogen. So we know it is B vector. Let's go to 51. On a certain Caribbean island where sugarcane is grown, a fungus is accidentally introduced into the island and it destroys the entire crop of sugarcane. Which of the following best describes what happened? A, the plants were old and therefore more susceptible to the fungus. B, the plants were not of a hardy enough variety to withstand the fungus. C, the plants were planted too close together, so the fungus spread easily. D, there was no genetic variation among the plants, so, no, so none could survive the attack. So, the answer is... D. Let's go to 52. If a diploid organism has two different alleles for the same gene, it is described as being, this one is repeated, A. Heterozygous. Heterozygous. Fifty-three. Which of the following statements about meiosis is not true? So meiosis. So a it allows for genetic variation. B it results in the production of gametes. It doubles the amount of. It doubles the amount of chromosomes in gametes. D, it causes haploid cells to form from diploid cells. So the answer would be C. Let's go to number 54. Tarzan and Jane are heterozygous, heterozygous for blood groups A and B respectively. Which of the following shows all of the possible results of their genetic cross? So we know the answer is D, 25% A, 25% B, 25% A, B, 25% O. 55. Which of the following terms refers to visible characteristics of living things? A, gene, B, geno genotype, C, phenotype, D, chromosome. So we know the answer is C. Item 56 refers to the following diagram, which represents a cross between two plants, at heterozygous for a particular characteristic. So which of the following completes the diagram at 1, 2, and 3? So the answer is B. Let's go to number 57. One example of a sex-linked disease is A, cancer, B, hypertension, C, color blindness, D, Down syndrome. So we know the answer is C, color blindness. 58. A species consists of members that, we know the answer is C, interbreed under natural conditions. Let's go to number 59. Which of the following would be involved in the production of insulin by genetic engineering? One, transfer of the human insulin gene to a bacterium. Two, a vector to transfer the insulin gene. Three, production of insulin by the bacterium. So I want you to tell me the answer for this one in the comment section. Our final question says, which of the following description is true about natural and artificial selection? The answer would be C produces great biological diversity and produces very different organisms from natural populations. So there you have it. We have completed the entire CSEC biology, May, June 2019, paper one. Thank you so much for watching.